And now without any further ado, let's get to your three stars. Lead it off with star number three. Star number three. Oh, geez. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of comes down to whether I want to do two Rangers or just one Ranger. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go with just one <laughs> Ranger. Yeah, so so I guess I'll kick it off. I'll say Scott Lawton as my third star. Um, I, I think he, uh, he had a really strong game all around. Obviously gets a goal and an assist. I actually kind of wonder what he could have done if he would have had more ice time. He ends up ranking ninth among the forwards in ice time. Uh, I might have tried to get him on the ice a little bit more than, than he was personally. Uh, but I think Lawton made some really good plays, obviously has that, that goal off the great pass by one Travis Konechny, who, spoiler alert, just might pop up in a second. But um, but anyway, uh, Lawton, strong game. Uh, we talked to him after the game. You know, He obviously was jacked about the third period, disappointed about how it ended, but excited about how his team dealt with this gauntlet of games. You know, they didn't dominate, but they certainly, especially over the second half of the gauntlet, held their own. And I think Scott Lawton was a, a non-significant part of that. All right, let's go to star number two. Yeah, star number two, I'm going to go with Travis Konechny. Um, obviously, the great pass on the Lawton goal. Uh, scores another goal in the third period. I actually, I... I don't blame him for the shorthanded goal because I think that's an interference penalty that the refs miss. You know, uh, basically what happens is him and Krocek crash into each other. Krocek knocks Konechny down, goes down the ice. The only reason why that's a two-on-one is because Krocek knocked Konechny down. Konechny was rightfully ticked off. I guess you could say stay on your skates, but that could have been an interference penalty. I think it probably should have been an interference penalty. So I'm not going to ding him for that play. I'm going to say that Travis Konechny had in my mind and i know there were a lot of big goals in the third period i think he had the biggest goal of the third period because the rangers score early in the first then they score again a minute and a half later they take the 3-2 lead you just felt like the rangers were about to cruise and then Konechny scores the goal that ties the game like i don't think this game turns into as much of a, a track meet if Konechny doesn't score that goal, because I think the Rangers probably score another one and then it's over. Instead, it becomes the back and forth game because the Flyers stop that momentum string that the Rangers had. They don't stop that momentum string if their best player, Travis Konechny, doesn't go out there and score a goal. So I give Travis Konechny the second star of the game. Last but not least, tonight's first star. Yeah, I'm going to talk about a guy who it's, it's probably a bad thing that I'm talking about him for the Flyers, but... Uh, Alexis Lafreniere, this guy, the last two times the Flyers have played the Rangers, I think Lafreniere has been the best Ranger on the ice. I do. And that's scary because, you know, you, you can you can watch Panera and be like, damn, this guy's real good. You can watch Zibanejad and be like, man, he freaking kills the Flyers. They're older. They're they're going to start declining. I mean, Panarin is already in decline. He's just so freaking awesome that even declining Panarin is still real freaking good. But Hit 100 Lafreniere points for the first time. Not. Exactly. Like, Lafreniere is young. He's going to be a thorn in the Flyers' side for a while, and for a few years it looked like the Flyers had dodged that bullet that maybe he wasn't going to be as good as they thought he was going to be when he was drafted first overall when the Rangers get lucky in the lottery. You're like, man, they Flyers lucked out. You know, Capo Caco and Lafreniere, they're not all that great. They're just decent players. The Lafreniere I saw in these last two games against the Flyers did not does not look like just a decent player. He looks like a guy who is really starting to come into his own. And I mean, that goal he scored with the, uh, the, the puck, the, the shot that gets blocked, and then he just rips it. I mean, that was a ridiculous release. Like that goes back to what I was saying about Arison earlier. Yeah. You'd love him to make a stop and another stop somewhere, but like, I can't get mad at him not stopping that Lafreniere shot. That was a frigging bullet. And that was just kind of the period. There were a lot of really, really good plays being made by really, really good players. I'm giving Lafreniere my number one star. I think he was the best player on the ice in a game of a lot of really good players making things happen on the ice. All right, Charlie, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we'll talk to you again tomorrow uh, from Montreal, I believe. So you'll yeah, be, I'll be uh, in my hotel room. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be a lot of fun. Now get your get yourself out of that dump before it uh, before they close you in there and you're trapped with all the rats. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, Charlie. We all city like the mayor. 